So early this morning or late last night, depending on how you want to look at it, Nintendo had their financial briefing meeting, their update, their quarterly report, as it were, and <laughs> things are looking really, really good if you are a Switch owner or just a, and have interest in the future of Nintendo Switch itself. So let's just break into the numbers. For starters, Nintendo Switch sold 4.89 million units this past fiscal quarter. That means that lifetime to date, the Nintendo Switch is at 7.63 million consoles sold. And that's through September 30th. So there is, you know, the entire month of October, it's probably well over 8 million at this point. Uh, and could approach, you know, with the release of Mario Odyssey, 9 or 10 million before we even get to the primary sales season of the holidays. And, of course, that's lifetime today, not, not yearly. Yearly, you're probably looking more at 6 to 7 million before we get to that period. Software-wise, uh, they sold almost they sold 13.98 million units of software for the switch this past quarter which brings it up to 22.02 uh for the total fiscal year and 27.58 million uh in total so if you look at that that's almost a four to one attach ratio of switches sold to software sold which is pretty decent for the first year um and it, it does not count uh, any digital sales in terms of that total uh, unless the software has a retail version. So if there's a bunch of indie games out there that sold really, really, really well, or like Sonic Mania that sold you know, probably pretty well on Switch, those sales were not counted because they didn't have a physical version as well. I'm not sure why Nintendo did that, but they did note that it only counted digital sales for games that also had a physical release. So again, it, the, the attach rate could be 5 or 6 to 1. We don't, we don't know. Uh, because maybe Nintendo just doesn't have the numbers for those companies um, that didn't have physical versions. Anyways, uh, what's interesting here is that Nintendo has been sticking by that they're predicting 10 million units for this fiscal year, which would put the total uh, at the end of the fiscal year around 13 million, counting the launch month, which was last fiscal year. Well... They have updated that forecast now to 14 million units for this year. That's right. Nintendo is projecting right now, about halfway through their fiscal year, that they are going to sell 14 million Switches, which is more than the Nintendo Switch sold in its entire life. And that would mean, by the end of this fiscal year, the system will have sold between 17 to 18 million units, or almost 20 million units, uh, is another way to look at it, in just 13 months. That is, if that's not a great start, I don't know what is. Uh, software uh, is projected to, at 50 million units now, uh, when it was originally at 35 million units for this year. So again, they're, with the increase in sales, they're also projecting that there will be 15 million more software sold total. Uh, and if you're wondering how this has impacted Nintendo, uh, their net sales have increased 173.4% year on year to $3.29 billion dollars. Their operating income is at $351 million, and their profits for this fiscal year are at $453 million so far. It could go even higher than that, but needless to say, that's a pretty good year for Nintendo. Now, they did make some statements. Uh, first off, Splatoon 2 uh, sold 3.61 million units for this past quarter. Um, and it says, during the six months ended September 30, 2017 for Nintendo Switch, Splatoon 2 released in July and gained popularity both in Japan and overseas with 3.61 million units sold globally. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and ARMS also both sold well after their releases in April and June, respectively. All told, the sales volume for the Nintendo Switch hardware and software during this period came to 4.89 million units and 22.02 .02 million units. Uh, they also briefly mentioned some Amiibo numbers, uh, but they don't necessarily mention like specific numbers for the SNES Classic. Uh, but they say, in addition, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System uh, Classic Edition was off to a good start following its September launch, uh, and it launched on October 5th in Japan. So they're not, they're not having they don't have any sales for Japan in this data. Uh, we also made moves to expand our Amiibo line by launching the new Splatoon series Amiibo. Our Amiibo sales were approximately 5.1 million units for figure type and approximately 2.8 million units for card type. This that past, That's just this past fiscal quarter. That is 
Wow. If you ever doubt the popularity of Amiibo still to this day, selling over, over what, almost 8 million combined is crazy. Um, and they forecasted, obviously, that uh, the Switch is going to sell 14 million units. 72.8% uh, of their net sales came from outside of Japan, uh, which, you know, U.S. is obviously their primary market, the market they make the most money from, but uh, Japan's obviously still a big market, as are a few other select areas. Um, the 3DS, for those that are curious about the 3DS, uh, it sold 1.91 million, so about 1 million uh, less hardware than the Nintendo Switch this past quarter, uh, and it sold 2.86 million units total for this year which would be almost it's about 2 million units less than the switch for this year uh and has 68.98 million lifetime to date sales so for people who thought it would sell about 69 million you're pretty spot on uh it's probably going to hit 70 million uh at some point here maybe even over the holidays with the release of pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon uh software sales uh, for the 3DS for this past quarter were 7.97 million, or in other words, about eh, 6 million less than the Switch. And they have sold 13.82 million units of software uh, lifetime to date, which is about 9 million or so less than a Nintendo Switch for this year. But of course, the 3DS has been out longer and has a lot more units on the market. So it sold 343.07 million units lifetime to date. Uh, and if you're curious how their smart device gaming is doing, they don't have any specific download numbers or anything, but they have said that their smart device and IP related income is $158 million fiscal year to date. And remember that comes from things like Mitomo and uh, what is it? Uh, Super Mario Run. Uh, a little bit from Pokemon Go, of course, and Fire Emblem Heroes. And obviously, we know that Animal Crossing is launching later this month in the U.S. It has launched in Australia, but obviously, once it really gets to the rest of the world, uh, that's when they're really going to see some money coming from that. Um, let me see. Uh, it says, uh, Switch Harbor shipments worldwide. Uh, Japan has 1.95 million uh, lifetime to date. Uh, the Americas, which would be North America and South America, has seen 3.11 million uh, shipped. So again, when you see, oh, it's only sold 2 million in the United States from like that MPD report, um, that's just the United States. That doesn't count Canada necessarily. That doesn't count Mexico. That doesn't count any of South America. So 3.11 million. Uh, and every, every other part of the world uh, it was 2.56 million. Uh, that lets you know how important the Americas are because that is their leading hardware sales place. Uh, Switch Harbor shipments worldwide today, you know, 25.6% of their shipments went to Japan, 40.8% went to the Americas, and 336 went everywhere else. Uh, they did update sales numbers here. Uh, Breath of the Wild has sold 4.7 million units on Switch. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has sold 4.4 million units. Splatoon 2, 3.6. ARMS, 1.35 million units. And 1-2 Switch has sold 1.37 uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see ARMS slowly surpass 1-2 Switch eventually. Uh, but it's nice to see ARMS doing pretty solid. Could end up at 1.5 to 2 million before all is said and done. Uh, Nintendo CEO has also said that there will be more ways to have fun with Switch. Uh, details to be announced next year. That could suggest a, a January Nintendo Direct of some type. Uh, which wouldn't be a surprise. They have momentum. they got to keep it going. People don't know what's really happening after uh, December. We know that there's games coming. We don't have release dates. It would be great if they did an early one and started the early slate of games with that consistent release pace continuing, even starting with a release of a decent game at least, whether it's Yoshi or Kirby or something in January. That would be much appreciated. Uh, yeah, and apparently, while they're not talking about uh, where uh, the the... SNES Classic itself has sold best. They did note that they have shipped 1.7 million units of the SNES Classic as of September 30th. And considering that you can't find it in stores, that shipped number is probably really, really close to the sold number. And we know the MPD report in the United States did state that the SNES Classic was the best-selling individual hardware in the U.S. outselling Switch, PlayStation 4, 3DS, Xbox One, blah, 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 blah. So... What does this all mean? 
So I'd say this is probably what most people expected. Personally, I'm going to be very curious about the numbers for October and November because October has Super Mario Odyssey, and obviously that's going to sell well. Uh, I'm curious how many Switch units are actually going to move in the month of October with you know a handful of days of you know Super Mario Odyssey being out. You almost have a full week worth of sales for Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, you know, if not a full week, you know, at least you know, four or five days. So I'm actually curious how well that's going to move units uh, worldwide, not just in the United States. And then you obviously have November. And November I'm curious about because Nintendo themselves doesn't really have a major release in November. Now maybe they're going to drop the Breath of the Wild uh, DLC Pack 2 in November. But again, that appeals mostly to people who already own the game, more so than those who haven't bought it yet. So I don't think that's going to impact things. And obviously while we have, you know, the holidays, Black Friday and everything, without a major release around that time for Nintendo, they're going to be relying on, you know, obviously Mario and Zelda pushing some units. Uh, but also third-party games because the month of November is really the month of third-party games for all platforms, uh, including Nintendo, with the release of Skyrim, Doom, LOA, Noir, um just to name some of them. I think there's also one other third-party game. And then Nintendo's next big release is actually in December, on December 1st. And I'll be curious to see if Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which traditionally hasn't been a console seller, can move some units in December, or if it doesn't you know, increase the amount sold, uh, if it can help maintain the amount sold heading into Christmas. Of course, the availability of the Switch will also be an issue. Uh, if the Switch is completely sold out after Black Friday weekend, um, that that's going to impact December sales because Nintendo's going to be trying to restock through all of December like they did all summer. So we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. This video's already running a little long because there was just a lot of data to dig through. Uh, maybe I'll make some individual videos on some predictions and some stuff for myself. But again, 14 million Switches project projected to be moved now this year. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, yeah, good good on you, Nintendo. Things are going very, very well, and Animal Crossing is assuredly going to be increasing that uh, ever-increasing revenue, it seems, you guys get from mobile games even more. Uh, so yeah, Nintendo's diversifying themselves. They're making money in multiple ways, which actually I think is going to help them when they do drop the 3DS eventually, because I think their mobile revenue on phones is eventually going to surpass their revenue from 3DS overall, and I think at that point they might be willing to get rid of the 3DS uh, and just w focus all their core games on Switch. And that's not to say, like, Animal Crossing, I've been playing it on my phone. Uh, it's good. Animal Crossing on, on the cell phone is good, guys. It's really good. I'll probably have a video on that later. I'm still working on recording some footage for it uh, to give you guys an example of how all that works. Anyways, folks, I'm Nintendo Rebel Gents from Nintendo Prime. And if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. Sources for all of this are down in the description below. And as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.